Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a film review of Gruber. So this is an action comedy and it has a kind of smallish cast, I guess. Well, I say small. I say small cast, but I mean kind of a narrow main cast. It, it relates to a handful of maybe two or three characters. So the first thing I'm gonna say is Karen Gilligan, who is was in Doctor Who and was also is also in both the Avengers, not the Avengers movies, <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. She is in the movie, but she isn't in it for very long. So if you're only going to see it for her, please be aware of that the scene she is in, she's amazing in different than I think she's been in. A lot of things, particularly herself, sort of not without excessive prosthetics or makeup, and she is amazing in the film and she deserves her film credit for it. And I think, you know, as a supporting role, and she's kind of in there straight in from the beginning of the film uh, with the main police officer, I think that is great. You know, she played the role, she played her scenes amazingly. The storyline throughout the film is consistent. Some real intense moments, some learning curves for the main characters, Stu and the police officer, about their own lives and how they're uh, going into situations that maybe they're not going into the best way possible. And it also, while dropping hints of sort of what's going on and who's what, um, you also kind of don't have a clue what's coming next you don't know what's coming around that corner the uh, dynamic between Stu and the police officer is really funny there's a particular scene where um, Stu is the police officer says to Stu I'll drag you to jail myself and he says well wouldn't that look great a white man dragging a black man <laughs> to jail to which point he uh, retaliates with well I'm not white and he starts trying to list off all these things and he stands there and says, wow, who's being racist now? I think that was a good dynamic. If it was something we don't normally see of really anything where, you know, it, where the racist dynamic is sort of flipped on its head. I think we always either see the black man as a bad person or the white person is a bad person and we never sort of see that dynamic between different races and sort of how you can innocently make comments that are seen as unkind because the comedy throughout this film is well written i had give that to the writers i did find a couple of moments a little bit too long there was a couple of sort of fight scenes that were too long but i also think that the dynamic between him and his daughter, the cop and the daughter, was really sweet as well because you sort of saw this sudden understanding near the end of the film. Again, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, so I won't. And it was well played and it was also nice to see the main police character crying near the end of the film as he sort of accepts what he could have lost. And he gets laser eye surgery, so there's a period of time where he can't see, uh, which is how Stu sort of gets dragged into all this, other than being an Uber driver so he has to call an uber because he can't drive he drives himself into a ditch and so Stu the uber driver has to sort of drive him around and you obviously see in the trailer that he selects the pool option and so he ends up screaming at the kids for the police business and they get out and leave Stu a bad reading which upsets Stu and they end up arguing about it later on in the film I'm trying not to ruin too much get for you guys I mean the trailer does give quite a bit away which is kind of sad but at the same time you, you do miss sort of the scenes in between what's happening in the trailer and why he's so determined to catch this drug dealer and it has not, it has quite a lot to do with what what he's doing but it also has something to do with his partner which you see at the very beginning of the film and you also see Stu stand up for himself and accept that the person he's pining for isn't gonna want him and then he goes and helps his friend and saves this man's daughter and maybe or maybe not end up with her. I certainly think this is a film that if you enjoy comedy and action and gunfire and the ironic things of electric cars running out of juice, cops not always being the good guys, I think that this film will certainly be for you and there's a lot of funny moments of about Uber and how it works and people are not understanding it but doing un understanding it and not rating people very well on experiences 
and how much uber can cost you so there are a lot of relatable moments in this film as well as just kind of life lessons for the characters and us and I think you should go see it because it's got great comedy it was well directed it has a great cast it's consistent it's smooth you don't feel like they're kind of jumping about in the storyline which I think sometimes you can in action comedy and I can honestly say the whole theater I was in at the time laughed so much that it was kind of crazy so head over and see that film I'll have it linked down below for you guys and I will see you all next time bye